Hello, good morning. This is Rick Pena. I'm bringing you today's word for April 24th, 2014. The title of today's message is From Religion to Relationship. A few days ago, I started a new series entitled The Purpose of the Cross. We just celebrated the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm talking about why Jesus went to the cross and what it is that Jesus going to the cross gives for us. So one of the key things that, that we get as believers now because of Jesus dying on Calvary's cross is we get to go from religion to relationship. And that's what we're going to talk about today. I want to talk about how he delivered us. Jesus delivered us from the curse of the law and the bondage of the law. Um, if anyone knew about the law, especially the law of Moses, it was Paul, right? So Paul was raised as a Pharisee of the Pharisees. Paul studied under Gamaliel, who was one of the greatest scholars of the law of his day. So if anybody knew about the law, if anybody was qualified to talk about the law, it was Paul. And it's also amazing to me that it was Paul, that God used Paul to then talk about how Jesus delivered us from the law. So he studied the law more than probably most people of his day. And then he was the one that God used to explain to us that we're no longer under the law. It, and, and so let's look at what Paul said. I'm just going to read some passages from what Paul said in his writings about the law and about being led of the Holy Spirit and how God basically has taken us from religion to relationship. So Galatians chapter four, I'm going to read verses one through seven. Galatians chapter four, verses one through seven. This is what Paul said. He says, this is what I'm saying. When young children inherit all that their father owned, they are still no different from slaves. It doesn't matter that they own everything. While they are children, they still must obey those who are chosen to take care of them. But when they reach the age that their father has set, they are set free. It's the same for us. We were once like children, slaves to the useless rules of this world. But when the right time came, God sent his son who was born from a woman and lived under the law. God did this so that he could buy the freedom of those of us who were under the law. God's purpose was to make us children. Since you are now God's children, he has sent the spirit of his son into your hearts. And the spirit cries out, Abba, Father, now you're not slaves like before. You are God's children and you will receive everything he has promised to his children. I'm going to talk about that passage here in a minute. Galatians 5 and 16 says, So I tell you, live the way the Spirit leads you. Then you will not do the evil things your sinful desire or your sinful self wants. And Romans chapter 8 verse 14, The true children of God are those who are led by God's Spirit or who let God's spirit lead them. So the true children of God are those who let God's spirit lead them, who are led of the Holy Spirit internally, not governed by a set of external rules, right? So what does this mean to you today? I'm just going to share two things, two things. Number one, and, and, and I'm going to tell you, I'm coming back to Galatians chapter 4, 1 through 7 tomorrow. I mean, there's a lot there. So, But for today, let's just deal with two things. Number one, Jesus took us from religion to relationship. Every religion has rules and regulations, right? However, Jesus, what Jesus died to give us, what he gives us access to, what we call commonly re referred to as Christianity is not really a religion. It's actually supposed to be a relationship with the Father. You can make the argument that the Israelites in the Old Testament had religion, right? Uh, because they were under the law of Moses. Uh, they followed a hard set of rules and regulations. And to the individual under the Old Covenant, uh, God seemed distant and somewhat unreachable. But what Jesus left for us is far from that. We can now have a warm, intimate, and personal relationship with the Father because of the access given to us through the Son, Jesus, and because of the direct connection that we have with the Father through the Holy Spirit who lives in us. So now the Holy Spirit is in us. We have access to the Father in the name of Jesus because of the blood of Jesus, and we have a direct connection to the Father through the Holy Spirit who lives in us. Number two, not only did Jesus take us from religion to relationship, Jesus also took us from servants or slaves to sons. Under the law, the followers of Jehovah saw him as God and they saw themselves as servants. They were serving God. He was God and they were there to serve him. However, the blood of Jesus takes us from servants to sons. Listen to me. Look at me. You are not a slave. You are not 
a servant. You are a child of the most high God. And he's not a distant God who cannot be reached and who does not hear your cry. No, he is a loving and caring heavenly father who loves you with an everlasting love. And he wants you to come to him as your daddy. He wants you to call for him as your daddy. Remember, I already read it. Galatians 4 and 7, Paul said, you are not like, you're not slaves like before. You are God's children and you will receive everything he promised to his children. So let's close this out with a confession of faith because God took you from, because of Jesus, from relationship, I mean, from religion to relationship, from servants to sons. And you should be, you should be glad about it. Let's close this out. Say, Father, I thank you for teaching me the purpose of the cross. What Jesus did for me is amazing. Not only did Jesus die in my place, taking on my debt, and paying for my sin, but Jesus also redeemed me from the curse and the callous nature of the law of Moses. Because of Jesus, I don't have to live my life by a cold set of external rules. I don't have to see you as a distant and unreachable God. I don't have to see myself as a slave or a servant. No, the blood of Jesus unifies me with you. I am not a slave. I am not a servant. I am a son. I am a child of the most high God. While you are God and you sit on the circle of the earth, when I come to you, I don't address you as God. I address you as my father. When I'm in worship, I worship you as God and I fall flat on my face. But when I'm in prayer, I come to you as my father. I come to you as my daddy. And I feel the warmth of your love. I can come directly to you as a son because of the access given to me through Jesus Christ, my Lord. And I also have a direct connection to you through the Holy Spirit who lives in me. I have graduated from religion to relationship and I now live every day with fearless confidence because I know you love me. You made plans for me before the foundations of the world. You made those plans by your grace and you have also given me the grace <laughs> to fulfill those plans. I declare that I will. I will complete my divine assignment. I will do it before I die and I will do it by your undeserved grace. I declare this by faith in Jesus name. Amen. This is today's word. Apply it and prosper and have a blessed day. Walk in the blessing. God bless you.